Clements is joining us right now. EFT practitioner, but to many you are known as the tapping expert, correct? Sure, that'll do. And your role is to help people overcome their phobias. Yeah, whatever phobia it is, snakes, spiders, rats, whatever, yeah. This is an interesting technique because with, when this was introduced to us in the post-show meeting, uh, I'm a bit of a skeptic when it comes to this because phobias, especially a lifelong phobia, you used it. Now take me through, how does this work and how long does it take to cure these people of their fears? Well, it depends on how many aspects uh, underlie their fear, but generally it can be 10, 15 minutes, sometimes half an hour, maybe an hour maximum. Um, and it's basically a disturbance in your energy system that creates the negative emotions that underpin your phobias. Once you correct that uh, disturbance, usually the phobias just float away. And, and you know, just looking at the footage, this is fascinating. Is it more of a physical thing or is it more verbal communication when, when you're working with people? It's a combination of both. It's, it's kind of like an affirmation and you're tapping acupressure points, uh, which helps the system realign. So th this is a science. This is a process. Okay, so we heard about it. We're going to put it to the test today. And Brad from The Fright Stuff is here with Exhibit A and B. Good morning, Brad. Morning. Okay, so he's got Gretchen in his left hand, the tarantula, and then he's got uh, Julius Squeezer, <laughs> the snake, on his shoulder. And uh, uh, we have Michelle, who has an ultimate fear. I'm like mesmerized by the snake. Ultimate fear of the uh, the spiders. And we have a BT viewer that has a fear of snakes. So this is the real deal. You're yep. gonna you're gonna meet them. We're gonna see this technique coming up very shortly, and then we're gonna see if we can cure them. Correct? Correct. Okay, Michelle McDermott. That no, 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 is no. going to be your best friend by the no, end of the show. No, 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 no. Gretchen and I are not going to be on a first name. Well, I guess we are on a first name basis already, <laughs> but at a distance. <laughs> we will see what happens. I'm sweating already, and I'm way over here. Stay tuned. How fast does Gretchen move? Could she come over here? Just want to make sure she's you over there. You want Gretchen right now? No, no, I don't. No, 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 no. I'm just saying I just want to make sure that she okay. stays there. All okay. Right. We're good. We'll keep her here. Okay, let's get into the commute. We'll talk about traffic. Okay. No. <laughs> Come on, who wouldn't be scared to touch that thing? Uh, Ivan Clement, EFT practitioner, the tapping expert, in case you missed it. Here are our uh, two subjects, Anna, BT viewer, Michelle McDermott. You recognize her from traffic. Hi. Two huge fears. We have the fear of snakes and the fear of spiders. And you were talking with Anna. Anna, tell us about how uh, you feel when the, the snakes are around. Um, it will, depending on the proximity, I get just, my, like right now, my palms are super sweaty. I've got a little ball of anxiety and my mouth is really dry and it's I can see it across the room and it really kind of depends on how the head moves for some weird reason and it just makes me want to run with my knees as high up in the air as possible <laughs> it's just this it's a real phobia here yeah it's total escapism Ivan you deal with this all the time is this a common practice absolutely yeah and it's a common reaction as well Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Michelle McDermott, tell us about the fear of spiders and where this came from. Yeah, when I was very little, I had no fear. I walked up to this spider that I saw in the basement and I picked it right up and I held it and I looked at it and it bit me. And then my mom used to do a lot of gardening and so she used to come in from the garden and there'd be these huge welts on the back of her legs. And I think she actually had to go on to antibiotics to get rid of the infection. So Ooh. the two put together really, you know, didn't help with my dislike towards spiders. Okay. So even to this day, I've been seen running from my apartment with my knees up as well. Because <laughs> uh, either there's one scurrying on the, on the carpet or one on the ceiling, something like that. So we're tense, sweaty palms? Mm, yes. yes. Yeah. Very moist. Okay, so what's the procedure? Do we bring in the, the, the animals first or do you, do you start working on them with the technique? Well, I would like to see what kind of reaction they have as we get a bit closer. Okay. But as soon as it's stay close enough, then we can stop. Brad from Fright Stuff's got the tarantula in his right hand, the snake in his left, draped over his uh, right shoulder as well. I'm just watching the head. Okay, zero to ten, what's your level of fear at the moment, both of you? <laughs> uh, he's far enough away, so I'd say probably about a five for me. Okay. Five for you. I'm a good seven because I don't like the way his head's moving at all. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, that's good. So we got a we got a level here, so that's fine. And then what we're going to do is deal with their uh, initial uh, childhood experiences when they when the, when the phobia took root. Okay. And we're going to work on that memory, lose the fear from that, and that should help us, you know, get zero fear when they approach. So it's good to see how they're reacting now and we'll see how they react later. And the tapping technique, can you show us this as we go to break of where we start? Absolutely, so if I, 
work with Anna here. We're going to start with uh, the karate chop I just want you to repeat what I say. We'll just do a general one here and we'll work on the memory at the break. So even though, even though I have this fear of uh, snakes, I have this fear of snakes. I deeply and completely, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Love and accept myself. Okay. This fear of snakes. 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 Okay. Ivan is going to continue this technique. This fear of snakes. He's going to do it on the show. This fear of snakes. We're going to break it. Entertainment's coming up. We ask you about your phobias. Here's what you have to say. We're going to see if this actually works. Okay. So stay tuned. Okay. Ivan's working on our two subjects right now. If you're just tuning in, wondering what's going on, he's the tapping expert helping Michelle and Anna overcome their fears. We're talking snakes. There's Anna. And Michelle trying to overcome the fear of spiders. We'll check in with these guys coming up in a few minutes to see if they can go one on one with their greatest fears. So come on back here on the show. Slithering about. Folk tongue in and out of his mouth. But man, the way they slither about. Back. We are. Okay, if you're just tuning in, Ivan, the EFT practitioner, uh, helping people overcome their fears. We're talking the fear of snakes and spiders. Anna, love the snake pants, by the way. Yeah. Trying to get over the fear of uh, snakes. Yeah. How do we start and how are we right now? Um, at first, I couldn't even look over in the general direction, but I'm watching the snake flick its tongue about and crawl all over his face, and I'm, I'm, I can actually watch it. And a minute ago, it we were making eye contact, which is leaps and bounds from where I was, which was complete and 100% avoidant. Mm -hmm. so, so you guys having a moment. And Ivan, over the course of what, 20 minutes, you've just been using the tapping technique? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then how does that work again? Well, we assess the level of fear, zero to 10, yeah. and what, uh, what is particularly that troubles them. Um, in Anna's case, it's the slithery movement and the head and the tongue. And in Michelle, it's, it was the initial bite when she was a child. Um, and now it's probably the hairy legs and the, it might jump or, or it's, uh, it's unpredictable movement as uh -huh. well. How has this changed for you, McDermott? Well, what I was saying is that I, when we were going through the exercises, uh, sorry if that's the right way to, way to call it, but sure. I started to think, wow, I'm an idiot for having this fear. Like, I, it really does bring it down to a, well, it's just a spider sort of thing. So I, I think if I saw one in my apartment now, I wouldn't be as scared, absolutely. Well, Brad from uh, Fred Stuff's got two great examples for us. What are you, you checking here? I uh, the interesting is that the palms always start to sweat when the fear comes, and before you were really clammy. Now it's, it's a little bit clammy, but it's nowhere near what it was. I don't know how you're doing. Oh, that's pretty good. That's, that's almost normal. So we've made progress. Brad, you, you've got both exhibits for us, so what's the best procedure? In okay, terms? so if he can just move very slowly forward, and the moment either you say that that's, that's close enough, and then we'll just do a bit more tapping and see if we can get the level down. Okay. Again, I've only had 20 um, minutes for this. And what it is particularly that's bothering. How, how are you doing? I'm good. I, yeah, and the fact that I don't know where his head is right now, and it's, yeah. Can we? Yeah. It's just a shawl. Okay, the, head, the head's here. So. Can I get a bit yeah. closer, you guys? Yeah, sure. Okay. If it, if, it, if it bothers you, just say stop. Okay. Yeah, that's good for me, I think, right there. Okay. Yeah, I've, yeah. that's okay. plenty. <laughs> plenty. All right, now, is it, is it the, the head again? Yeah. All right, okay. <laughs> Give me a number. Uh, like a five. Five, okay. Even though, Even though I have this remaining fear of snakes, I have this remaining fear of snakes. I deeply and completely, deeply and completely love and accept myself. Love and accept myself. Okay, it's the head still. It's the head still. The way it slithers about. The way it slithers about. It's forked tongue. It's forked tongue. It's particularly the way the head moves. It's particularly the way the head moves. This remaining fear of snakes. 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 Fear of snakes. Okay, you still have five. And it's lower. It is. I'm like a three. A three? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. And some of these procedures, for here we've had 20 minutes, sometimes it takes a little longer? Yeah, it can, it can be quite rapid or sometimes it can take up to an hour, but normally, I mean, if we had about another 20 minutes, I, I'm pretty sure she'd be holding it yeah. uh, and touching it. How do you feel about touching it? Um, what about the, the back end where the head isn't? Yeah, where the head isn't, maybe. Do you think you could touch it? Yeah, oh, it's, yeah. yeah. Okay, not would quite you, what I thought it was going to be. It feels like silk a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah, I was expecting cold. So, would you have been able to do that at all? Oh, God, no. No? no okay, no. well, that's an improvement for mm. sure. Uh, how are you doing? Can I just say that I have a fear of the common house spider? That is like, you know what I mean? <laughs> that, like, that's going from like, being fear of flying to jumping out of a plane. Like, that is that's a big difference. Okay. I don't, I, I like... That's close enough for yeah, now? And what level so. are you at? I think I'm, I'm about uh, six. Six. Yeah. All right, well, let's try... So they made okay. progress. The TippingGuru.com is Even the website. You can find out more. He's going to work on the I exercise. We made some progress here. Fear of spiders. 
Uh, he's going uh, to continue to work on Michelle. No uh, we'll follow this. There you see the website and details. All kinds of guys practicing this. Thank you to Brad. Thank you to Ivan taking a break here on BT. Highlights from America's Got Talent coming up. Feel it. Feel it. A little sweaty. Right. What is it? It's okay, actually. So if I touch it, Brad, what's going to happen? Just touch the abdomen. It'll run.